I need a thorough knowledge of the processes of nature, the construction of the simplest forms, to penetrate right to the nucleus of things. In the microscope and in books and photographs of microscopic forms, I have found the most terrific design. To get an understanding of nature and its structure, I can think of nothing better. It throws a new light on volumes and interpretation of form. Well, there was geometry and, and asymmetry and uh, there was everything going on that a uh, piece of sculpture's got. I mean, unbelievable. It was just a knockout. Incredible activity going on below the surface which we couldn't see. And I thought, well, if that exists there, why it doesn't exist in everything, or everywhere? What we can see is only a fragment. Dazzle, head of the sculpture department, he had no knowledge of the whole 20th century art. A revolution had taken place with Duchamp and Brancusi and Picasso and Matisse and, uh, and Mondrian, you name it, the whole thing had, had all taken place. And we knew nothing about this at all. And I think it should have been, been a, we should have been aware of this whole thing. I have a, a storeroom with a whole lot of patterns, wooden patterns which I've been collecting since 1964. And before I knew what was happening, things would just gravitate. It's an incredible magnetism would happen. Certain forms would might be down 60 feet away. You'd know where it was and you'd be like a computer. Your mind would know where everything was. In the end, you'd be walking around, picking this up and walking up and pushing it on an incredible phenomenon. I'm sorry to have to hear that word all the time, that's all it seems to come back to, the impulses. They must be like electrical impulses coming up and making my arm do this or do that. It's mad, isn't it? So some were left in wood, and there's hardly any been cast in, in bronze. I couldn't see any reason why sculpture couldn't float or or be up in the sky or be anywhere. Why has it just got to be a static thing on the ground? I think I'm listening up and being more creative, personally. I've been struggling for all my life to get a roughness and an immediacy, which has been very hard for me to find. I, I find I'm too meticulous and too precise, too much vertical, too much horizontal. Up there with these ones, I just let go and, and let it happen. <laughs> 